Okay, so this video was sparked up by one of the commenters of the channel. You see the username here is Reezy619, so thank you for the comment. Uh, basically what Reezy here, I think what Reezy here wants to know is how to initialize an instance of shared preferences just once and not do it just every time you need shared preferences. And he wanted me to show you how to do it with get it since this was on a comment on a get it video, but I'm not going to show you how to do it with get it because it's really not required here and it's just simpler to do it the way I'm going to show you now. So here I built a little UI where I have a button that says change data and we have text that display some data and that data is actually retrieved from shared preferences so if you don't see the problem here uh, the problem here is that here we have to do an asynchronous call every time when we go into the home page so what that means is that every time we go into the home page we may have to wait for some time but at the end of the day if you're doing it this way it's really not the end of the world since you are accessing local storage that's on the device it's really not going to take more than I believe like a couple of milliseconds to do but still if you want to do it like quote unquote the proper way here's how to do it so I made this user preferences class and the user preferences class is actually pretty simple. So first we have a static final instance of this. So basically here we are making a singleton without using get it. So we have one instance and whenever somebody calls a constructor on user preferences, we just return that instance. And also we have a private constructor, but uh, that's besides the point. And what we do when we start the app is we just call this init function. So we initialize the user preferences class, and then we call the init function on it. And then the init function gets our user preferences and sets them up. So now let's actually see how to use that. So let's go to main.dart. And over here, I'm going to make the main function async. And I'm going to say user preferences and we're making a new instance and we can say dot init and of course I will await this because we want our shared preferences to be initialized before the app actually starts so instead of waiting a couple of milliseconds every time you need it you may wait a millisecond or two before you actually see anything on the UI and now basically we do not have to use this shared preferences thing anymore we can just say user preferences dot data and that's it and we can replace all of this but this data is not going to be created magically just because we imagined it i actually created it before the the video so what it does is it's basically a getter that uses the shared preferences instance we are storing in this class and it just gets that data string and also you can set it if you want to and you can do this for all of the stuff so i think that uh Rizzi was asking about like tokens or something so if i wanted to save the token i just copy and paste this and say let's see jwt token and that will kind of be the end of it but the one thing that may be worrying here is when i want to set something set string is actually a future so if you actually want to wait for the result of that setting you would most likely make a function set jwt token return a future and then just say return here and you could do it like that now let's go back here we don't need this prefs anymore and now let's actually see this in effect let's actually mutate the data so when i say change data i'm just going to take the current data and say data plus equals a or something or actually let's just say data plus a and then let's add that to our user preferences so let's say user preferences dot data is equal our current data plus a and of course now i have to update this data over here let's say set state and let's just copy this and we should be we should be good here so basically what we're doing here is now we are not making any asynchronous calls we just do an asynchronous call once and that's it now maybe you may wonder if you didn't quite understand what a singleton is is but hey we are initializing this class every time so that means that this is getting executed every time but it's really not because this is a singleton and a singleton means actually let me look up exactly what singleton means on the on the browser so let's go here singleton singleton pattern okay in software engineering the singleton pattern 
is a software design pattern that restricts instantiation of a class to a single instance. So what this basically means is that this class, there is only one instance of it. And that's why we have a private constructor and we have a public factory constructor. So this public constructor will always just return the instance we have over here. And this instance in it is initialized only once per app starting. So yeah, I hope that this made at least some sense. So yeah, actually now let's run the app to see if all the stuff I was talking about is true. So let me start up an emulator. And okay, the app started up and we got an error. So it says, if you're running an application that needs to access the binary messenger before an app has been called, for example, during plugin initialization, then you need to explicitly call the widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized first. So what this basically means is that when we are setting up shared preferences, we need some kind of widgets flutter binding to be initialized. And it seems that by default, when we go and run the app, when we go to the run app function, yeah, it does that for us. But since we need that for shared preferences, before we call this, this line here, we can just do this. We can just say, ensure that the flutter binding, flutter widget binding is initialized and then set this shared preferences and then start up the app. So. I hope that this uh, drives a point that it's actually very easy to sometimes diagnose an error just by reading it. And this is something that I have personally struggled with is like, I get an error. Oh, why did I get an error? But I did not actually read the error that I got here. But here it told us exactly what we need to do. So if you recognize yourself that you're doing this, it's okay. It's happening to me too all the time, but sometimes you just have to read the errors that you're getting and sometimes they will provide a solution without too much hassle. So now let me shut down the app and I'm just going to rerun it because hopefully this will now work. Okay, so we have another error. It says init state return the future. Init state must be a void method. So I need to remove the async keyword here. I'm sorry for that. And that was just stupid of me. So now we have some data. Uh, this is actually some data that I had before when I was testing out the app. So when I say change data, it just adds an A here. So what's happening here is actually we are adding, we're writing directly to our shared preferences. And then once that's done, we run a set state function, which then updates the data in our view. So yeah. And I think that's pretty much it. I think that this kind of drives the point home of uh, having a singleton for this type of stuff. You could also make a singleton inside get it. Again, uh, it's your own personal choice, but I just want to kind of show you if you don't want to use get it, if you don't like it or whatever, you can do it like this. And it's very simple and straightforward. There is some minor boilerplate that you have to write. And then for everything that you add later, you just copy, paste and change the names and you're done. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe to the channel. I will be putting out more content in the future, I promise. And yeah, also comment down below on what you want to see next or any complaints with my content. I read all the comments and I respond to the comments that kind of uh, make sense. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.